Hi everyone, something a bit different today. This video is prompted by a comment left on one of my videos about the XRGB Mini. Um, a guy was asking me whether you could um, put a composite input only from a SNES and a Mega Drive directly into the XRGB Mini. And I went back and said, yes you can, it works no problem. There's an input for composite and for left and right audio so you can use the standard cables. However, all the purists would say, my goodness, don't do that. Make sure you're using an RGB input SCAR, as this guy's obviously in the UK because they were PAL consoles. And both the SNES, PAL SNES and the PAL Mega Drive are capable of putting out an RGB signal without being modded. And so I went and replied to him and said, yeah, yeah that works, um, but look at RGB. And, uh, and I was actually thinking, well, you know, I'm only taking everybody else's word for it that there's a massive difference between composite and RGB. I understand the technical reasons why there should be a difference, but I've never really looked into it myself. So I thought I'd do a really simple test. And you'll see in the results of that test on the screen at the moment, the footage is captured from my Roxio Game Capture HD Pro. Um, the snares is running through the XRGB Mini, it's at 576p and scan lines are on. Um, it's PAL snares as well, so uh, it's 50 hertz. Um, the and all the only thing I changed was the cable between the two screenshots, and obviously, this is Metroid 3. Uh, I'm, I was running them side by side. Now we're looking at the composite only uh, recording. Now I zoomed in to try and show the lack of detail which is a key thing with using composite. Basically because the signal isn't as clean as an RGB signal you, you get a slightly blurry um, image and the, the pixels, the individual pixels kind of appear like they're running into one another. But the one thing that I think the composite signal in this case does do is has has brighter colours. Now I actually think that that's um, a problem with composite as well. Although to me it looks better, to my eye it looks better. Uh, I think composites have got this problem where it oversaturates colours, so they look brighter. But that's also what causes the uh, the kind of blurry blurry effect. But don't quote me on that. I'm no, I'm no expert. Um, it's just what I see with my eyes, um, and and I have to be honest with the XRGB Mini in the picture. Um, just looking at the, the the image on the screen, it isn't actually too bad. Um, it's perfectly playable. It's perfectly watchable, and much better than putting a raw signal into into your high def TV. Um, so it's definitely worthwhile doing that and so for that guy that was asking me questions about composite it's definitely worthwhile doing and you know if that's the only input you've got and you don't want to be worried about going for a load of different cables and sorting out SCAR or modding your console if it's uh, if it's non pal then it works fine now this is the RGB image and hopefully I'm gonna zoom in at the same time and you should see that it's a lot more detailed it's a lot crisper the banding on Super Metroid is a lot more defined um, but like I say the colors to my eye aren't so vivid however I think this is how they're supposed to look and obviously you can you can tune the color in the XRGB mini image and there's a couple of other things you can look at in the RGB com and compare with composite the the lines that make up the little map in the top right hand side that they are much more clearly defined as is the text uh, for your energy level on the, at the top left and if you go back and have a look at the beginning of the video and can try and compare the two then you can see that they're that they're, they're much m m much clearer much more well delineated than they are uh, in the composite signal and um, one of the things I've done with this video is uh, it's actually been rendered at 576p to try and give you as clear a picture of what I was seeing on the screen on, on my display as possible. The 
the Game Capture HD Pro does something slightly odd, I think, with the image, but I rendered it at 576p because that was the that was the resolution that it was recorded in, and so hopefully that should give you a good feel for what it looks like. Anyway, I say go for RGB over composite every time. It's easy to do, especially if you're in the UK because SCART's really common. And thanks very much for watching. Cheers.